brows tend to be a bit of an afterthought, they're there. Mm -hmm. But when you start looking after them, they make such a difference to your face, grooming, lifting, uh, bringing out your cheekbones. So it's really worth playing around with products. I think people find it a little overwhelming, but really simple products. I would say, you know, mm -hmm. a great pencil and a brow gel. You can even get it slightly right. tinted to add some color. Now, today is going to be real fun because we're going to talk about beauty. We're going to talk about how brows, lashes can lift your facial features. It's going to make you look like a million dollars. So I have with me Vanita Parthi. I love what she does because not only does she make women look really beautiful, but she took something, you know how we all complain, oh, this doesn't exist here. We get this here. We get this in our, the home country we've come from. But she actually took something and turned it into a business. And she's done it so that it works for her. It works for everyone else. She's found a purpose. She makes women look beautiful. And as I always say, women have a way of finding the ikigai. Yes, October 2004. Seems like yes. yesterday, but yeah. And that, she called it the Blink Brow Bar. Yeah. <laughs> and now she's gone on to be in Harvey Nichol, Nichols, Selfridges. And is it 23 locations or yeah, are there more? Yeah, it's, it's 23. Across the UK and some in uh, the US as well? That's right. We've got one in the US now. Yeah. And they sell a host of lash and brow products. And they do all kinds of interesting things. So tell us a little more. What exactly do you do? Is it just eyebrows? Tell us about lashes. Tell us all the different things that you do. Well, I think when, when I started the business, it was very much trying to make uh, eyebrow shaping accessible for women because it was so hard to find it in salons, know that you're getting a good therapist. Um, and it was always a little bit of a procedure. You know, you have to mm -hmm. go up flights of stairs, sit in a bed, have the consultation. I wanted something really fast. You can get them in India, no problem. And you will, you must know that, that on yes. the corner, it's a real priority. You can nip mm -hmm. in the chair and get your brows done. But that wasn't the case here. So for me, it was about making it easy for women to look after their brows. Um, and I think we really put brows on the map for UK women. So it was all about threading to begin with. And then over time, women started sharing their personal relationship with their brows and saying, you know mm -hmm. what? I need help, I need products uh, to make them grow. I need to darken them. So we started dyeing brows. Uh, we, then they, because it was all to do with the eyes, lashes made absolute sense. We've always tried mm -hmm. to keep it quite niche and focused, but you know, um, shaping the brows really lifts them and opens the eyes and actually so does uh, adding eyelashes. And mm -hmm. some people um, are a little bit frightened of it, but it's a, just a small enhancements that make a huge difference. So we now do various eyebrow treatments. We do microblading, we do brow lamination, which is about straightening them. Mm -hmm. We do lash lift, a lash perm, uh, lash extension. So you name it, uh, we do it, but we remain really focused with that particular area. On the eyes? Eyes, mm. yeah. Okay, fabulous. And tell me something, is it all non-invasive or do you also do invasive treatments? No, we don't do invasive. I mean, my, my feeling is we don't need to. I, I think that these small um, tweakments, if you like, make such a difference that often it's enough. And mm -hmm. um, we want to stay very, very focused on the well-being aspect. Personally relate to a very natural therapy uh, mm -hmm. rather than invasive. Okay. And... Um... Why did so? Why don't you start with giving us maybe three looks that you would recommend that women should get? So maybe one everyday look, one look for sort of when you're going to work or the week that you're busy, mm -hmm. and one look for when you just all you know bars removed and yeah. Well, you know, I think eyebrows. Everybody, it's very personal. Everybody wants okay. a very different look and feel. Mm -hmm. And some women like a very sculpted look, very obviously shaped, right. and um, it really suits them. And other women want, and a lot of British women like a very natural look. They don't mm -hmm. want their brows to look particularly done. So um, I think for me, a daytime look, personally, what I really love is to fill in um, 
where there might be any sparse patches. And as I get mm-hmm. older, there are more, mm-hmm. sadly, because I used to have very, very full brows. So, you know... You have beautiful brows. Even. Yeah. I don't know what you've done to them, <laughs> but they're gorgeous. Uh, they weren't quite what they were, but you do too. So, you know... Um, but, you know, I, if, for example, I would use a, a very simple uh, pencil like this, okay. which okay. is slanted. And it yeah. makes it really easy just to, you know, fill in. I'm kind of looking at the looking screen just to really fill in uh, any gaps that you might have and just just give a little bit of coverage. And okay. it's really simple. You keep going. And, it, and if you want to shape, you turn on its side to help you try and define the arch a little bit more. So you can you can you can play around with it. And then, okay. you know, if you there's a lovely brush here, if you mess up, you can you can just erase blend in. But I think the thing for me, what this pencil is great at doing is if you want to, I often elongate my brows. Uh, right. So it goes further right. down. So I get the, the length mm-hmm. and also fill in the front because it, it's important balance with your brows. Your, your, they do need to be even. So it's nice to get them even throughout, probably a little bit uh, lighter in the front and darker as you go on. Okay. And then during the day, I would just love to use a really simple brow gel which is clear and it just keeps the brows in place and it lifts them and uh you know i think it just i don't know if you can tell on the screen sometimes it's hard to but uh, sometimes it's hard to but you know just it'll keep them like that and they won't droop because for me drooping is is the worst before you told me i didn't even know that brow gel existed before you were chatting about it, it it really will it's changed my life and I think it will change any woman's life. You don't, brows tend to be a bit of an afterthought, they're there. Mm-hmm. But when you start looking after them, they make such a difference to your face, grooming, lifting, uh, bringing out your cheekbones. So it's really worth playing around with products. I think people find it a little overwhelming, but really simple products. I would say, you know, mm-hmm. a great pencil and a brow gel, you can even get it slightly right. tinted to add some color. Um, and then in the evening, women, if they want to create more of an impact, they may want a little bit more color. So you can just mm-hmm. add more, you can add a bit more coverage, you can darken them. Okay. And then there's something that, um, actually it's this one that we have called Brow Build, and it's okay. got microfibers in it, like little hairs. And okay. if you add it, it just really thickens your brows. So okay. it adds volume. And I Is that the brow definer? No. No, it's called Brow Build. I, I think have you have those. one in your, okay. uh, in your bag. In but that oh. just um, really, really, it's quite difficult to do it, sorry, in front of it, but it, it just creates volume. Okay. It's a texture, you know, really lovely texture. So a lot of our customers swear by this. And then if you add pencil and then add something like this, you get a much bolder evening look. So okay. And you're different. doing it very quickly. So you obviously don't need to spend too much time on it. You really don't need to spend too much time. And it is really, um, all our products, we try and make this they're super easy to use. You know, if you're a novice, it, you know, you shouldn't have any problems. And also, you know, sometimes I will, like now, you know, a little bit's gone there. It's, you just mm-hmm. simply remove it with a bit of eye makeup, remove it, and just, just give it another go. Uh, and right. along with that, what would you recommend for the eyelashes? Do you so also the, have a look for the eyelashes along with the brow look? Yeah, I mean, eyelashes are definitely, um, you know, great mascara. Uh, and again, women, uh, mascara, again, is such a personal thing. Some people mm-hmm. prefer volume, some people prefer length. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people like a tubing mascara, so it lasts. And others just want that kind of really uplifted dolly look. But, you know, I think... That, that really is a personal thing. And yeah. it all depends on the brush with mascaras. So you've got to get right, the brush yes. that's going to give you the look you want. So if you want the eyes wide open look, um, and I think that's a, a matter of trying different ones, but also getting lash extensions mm-hmm. um, is something that's super popular. And, yes. I mean, some women will have them permanently. They come in every four weeks and they get infills and once you've got those and you don't even need mascara. You don't so. need mascara, yeah. But, and you don't think that that weakens the, uh, the, the existing lashes? It's not, personally, it's not great to keep it going. I think you need to give your lashes a break. 
mm -hmm. and use, um, we actually have a lovely lash oil to use in between to help growth, help to uh, bring back moisture and hydrate them. So I, I get my lashes done for special occasions and I have to say, I love it so much and I would love to keep doing it, but I think it's, it does, it's not brilliant for your own lashes, but a lot of women, they say, so what? Okay. <laughs> I want them, so it's yeah. fine. Um, and tell me, how often do you suggest people go in? Like, would you say once a week, once a month? Uh, so I think you have to follow the cycle of your hair growth. And some, okay. I would, I think the average is about four to six weeks for okay. most women. Okay. My cycle is two weeks. So okay. I will get full growth in two weeks being, um, you know, Indian woman, quite hairy, you know, I need to be tended to quite often. So okay. I go in, but what I would say is that, you know, some women try and come in every week and you say, don't do that because what happens is you get uh, sporadic hair growth all the time. What you really mm -hmm. want to do is train your brows to grow one time mm -hmm. and then they're free of any excess hair for hopefully up to about four weeks and then you can come back and get them done again. So if you start tweezing them in between, you find that they're constantly growing. So then you have to constantly deal with what you've yes. taken out of uh, pattern. Yes. And I think if you want to do your, take care of your own brows, which you know a lot of people don't want to go in and get them uh, shaped by professionals, mm -hmm. that's fine. But again, try and do them at one time. It's a bit like waxing your legs. You know, you do it yeah. one time and you're hair free for a few weeks. Don't just think about it and then uh, do it again. Okay. Now, Vinita, tell me, I'm hearing a lot about lash droop in women. A lot of women are complaining as they get older, sort of somewhere past, I'm hearing it sort of later 30s onwards, their eyelids start, not lashes, sorry, their eyelids start drooping. Oh, yeah. Well, I think, look, it's, it's something to do, you know, as we, as we all age, mm -hmm. uh, you know, our uh, eyelids aren't what they were. And actually, mm -hmm. you know, I, I feel the same about mine. And... I think take your brow shape really helps aesthetically to lift them. So for me, it's okay. really um, important. As we get a little bit older, I do like my eyebrow to be shaped. Uh, so I have a very obvious arch because I think mm -hmm. that helps lift them. Right. It helps lift your cheekbones. And when you're younger, a sort of straighter shape is often quite nice, quite a boyish shape. Right. And I always say to my daughter who's 20, don't, don't accentuate your arch too much. Right. Because right. It, it doesn't suit her age. She's got, you know, everything is lifted. So she doesn't need to. As we get older, I really think a, a good shape, but not too much. You need to get it absolutely right. And there is um, something which is quite a helpful tip is if you do get a pencil, you can right. measure uh, the placement. So if you put it against your nose, uh, right. your, your brow shape should start there. And okay. then if you swivel it through the iris, Right, the arch should fall about there. So that, oh, wow. that's okay. where you get, you take out a few extra hairs. And then if you go right to the end of your eye, that mm -hmm. is where your brow should end. Okay. So balance is really important. And if you find your eyebrows fall short, say there, right. that, that's really nice to get a pencil and just fill in. Fill it in, yes. Yeah. Um, oh. but, but be careful you don't overdo the arch. So what I do see sometimes is women will they'll be very thin and very high, and mm -hmm. suddenly it throws the balance off. So balance is everything. Okay. Uh, and, and that's, like, I guess, where professionals can really help. Um, and, and the other thing that I do to help my, um, this area is massaging. Um, okay. I do brow pinching because circulation around there is really important. And um, it's just a lovely combination of everything that's good for your brows. It has uh, art, organic almond oil, rosemary to help grow, sandalwood and lavender. But I, um, as well as putting it onto your brows, it's really nice for uh, the temples. But what, what I tend to do is I will put it on my brows every morning. Okay. And then I will do what I call brow pinching, which sounds a bit painful. Okay. Actually... Yeah. So you, okay. So um, if, you, if you get your, your thumbs, then I, I will lift my... Uh, the sockets of my, mm -hmm. just above my eyes and then I put my fingers roll my fingers down and I pinch my brows right and then I move along and I do okay. the same 
okay. and I finish them. And I keep going. Right. And then when I get to the end, I just, these are marmer points at the end of the, each of the brows. Mm -hmm. And then, and then what I do, these two things is I'll go across and I will just take out the toxins and bad energy. Okay. Uh, and then with one uh, hand, what I really like to do is go around the sockets okay. of both the eye and the brow. And I go one way to take out the negative and then the other way to bring some positive in. Oh, lovely, lovely. Actually, these simple exercises, and you know, it can be as simple as, you know, I have, I have rose mist here and often I'll, I'll, I'll just do spray it and then do this with my and I do a little routine it's honestly a couple of minutes every morning and right. you just feel this part is more awake circulation there is so important you know for fine lines uh, for puffiness and uh, you know it's I think if people start introducing more natural mm -hmm. easy therapies it can replace Botox yeah, yeah I no, think, I think so too. I think a lot, like what you're saying about fine lines, you know, and all the, the things you're showing, like you, I saw you doing this shape of eight around the eyes, where you were talking about taking out toxins and bringing in positivity. And the shape of eight is also very important in Ayurveda. There's yes. a lot that's done with the shape of eight. Yes. And I think and it's, in yoga. Soothing, it's a lovely soothing feel. So even if you're meditating or taking time out to just spend some time maybe doing the the massage around that area and uh you know even just focusing you know you have marmor points all over the face but maybe just focusing on those those your chakras here that awakens mm -hmm. that area around your brows and okay. eyes and it's just the energy channels just opening them up and releasing the toxins yeah and also the anjana chakras here no the, the, you know so you're kind of releasing that and opening that up yeah and it I, does you do feel like oof, that you know in the morning and i feel my eyes are slight are, are brighter for it so i think all those things help if you do feel that area you know it is somewhere that ages quickly and we all we you know as we get older we all go through it but don't let it be an afterthought i think it's very mm -hmm. easy you know we all sort of remember our skin and we yeah are, Hair, but we just yeah. this zone I think and it needs a little bit of attention and what is your opinion and you know people do tattoos yes because their eyebrows become sparse yeah. or are sparse so what well, is your view on that I think we've moved forward a lot because there was a time where you would see someone with semi-permanent tattooed brows and it would look like they'd literally been drawn on and mm -hmm. um microblading now is fantastic so it's a little bit like the semi-permanent tattoos but it's a bit more sophisticated so mm -hmm. very very thin blades are used mm -hmm. to create little um almost cuts in the skin which are then filled with dye so you look like you have you basically are drawing on fine hair okay but the reason the cuts are made and the dye put in is so that it looks really natural Okay. And it, um, you know, it, it takes a while. So you have to, it, I think you have about three treatments over right. uh, six to 12 months. Okay. But it definitely gives you your brows back and it looks very natural. So we, we do it at Blink and it's, you know, I think it's great. You know, brows really give women confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something, if you feel that your brows are getting sparse, um, it's, you know, I think it's so visual, it's so there. Mm -hmm. And microblading, I think, is, a, is, you know, a great solution for a lot of women. What I liked about it is your whole concept, it's sort of very Ayurvedic and your oils, you've used some of the, you know, even in your products, I can see you've so used some of the oils like almond oil, which is such an important beauty product in Ayurveda. So you're keeping that holistic approach, which is really lovely. And what advice do you have for people listening in? My advice is that eyebrows are super important and make such a difference. So with some attention and love, I really think women, um, you know, for those women that don't spend a lot of time on them, if they do, I think it really makes a difference. I think it gives them back enormous confidence. And 
the pleasure for me of my business, people often say, what, what motivates you? And it's standing in one of my brow bars and seeing the faces of women when they've had mm -hmm. their brows done, especially after look, when I opened, because it was such a, um, it was something so new then, mm -hmm. they hadn't experienced threading. But mm -hmm. after lockdown as well, when women came in with, mm -hmm. you know, forest up here mm -hmm. and they looked in the mirror and they just went, oh God, I feel so much better. And I have to say that when I did it, you don't realize as they're growing back how mm -hmm. dreadful they look or mine looked. Mm -hmm. And when I had them done, I walked away and I thought, actually, I feel quite attractive. Again, it feels <laughs> good. So, yeah. um, and a lot of people I meet, a lot of women say, oh, I don't know what to do with them. I, I don't do anything. And I say, you know what, do something. And I always give them a product or a gift card and they never look back. So my advice really is to, there's, even if it's the smallest thing, like putting a bit of brow gel in the morning to give them that lift, mm -hmm. you don't want to shape them, just do that. Thank you so much. It was lovely having you here today. Thank you. And I hope we Thanks. encourage lots of women to feel great about themselves. I hope so. Thank you for listening to this chat. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to this page. Please subscribe to our podcast on Apple and Spotify, Wellness Curated. And follow us on Instagram, Wellness Curated, the number one. Thank you.